Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed what is a data, database, database management system, how to create a table, how to insert the values into the table. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know those concepts, I sincerely request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about alter statement in SQL. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. The alter statement is useful for you to change the structure of a table. What is a table? Table is a collection of attributes or columns. So the alter statement is useful for you to adding the new column to the existing table or you can modify the column or you can delete a column. All these things we can do using the alter statement. So it is useful. Alter statement is useful to change the structure of the existing table. If you have a table with set of attributes, then we can use this alter statement to change the structure. Okay, structure means we can add the columns. So we can write add the columns to the existing table. Similarly, we can modify the column meaning is that suppose a particular column has a data type now you want to change the data type of that column we can do using the alter command similarly we can drop the column also or i can say delete the column also okay because drop and delete both are same only so first we will discuss how we can add the column to the existing table using the alter statement so how you can write is you can write alter either you can write in capital letters or in lowercase letters so alter table table name and then you can write add and then you can write the column name and then data type for it end with semicolon or if you want to add multiple columns that also you can do alter table okay let me write in capital letters table table name then i will write add open the braces column one data type comma column two data type close the braces and end with a semicolon. So you can add a single column or you can add the multiple columns also to the existing table using the alter statement. Now we will practically verify in Oracle SQL plus. Already we have created a table called what student underscore Parnika. If you want to verify the existing tables, then you can use a command called select star from tab tab end with semicolon. Now you can see we have created a table called student underscore Parnika and also we have created a table called Parnika underscore two. If you want to describe those tables, you can write okay D E S C student underscore Parnika end with semicolon. Similarly, you can write D E S C Parnika underscore two end with the semicolon. Now you can see the student underscore Parnika table have three attributes called roll number, name, is also. And if you talk about the Parnika underscore two table, you have the attributes called name and is. I want to add extra column for this parnika underscore two and the name of the column is let's take that id okay so what i will do i will write add oh sorry not add alter table okay table name is what parnika underscore two then you need to write add what is the column name you want to specify you want to specify as id and the type it will store the numbers only so i have specified the data type as number now if i press enter now you can see table altered if you write desc table name as parnika underscore two now you can see the new attribute or a column has been added to the 
table called Parnika underscore 2. And what is the attribute name? ID and the type of the values it will store is number of size 10. If you want to add multiple columns for the existing table that also you can do with the help of the alter command. So I will write alter table Pernica underscore 2 then I will write add okay let me give Pernica underscore 2 in lower case then I will write add what I will do this time is marks and the type of the values will be number and I will write 10 comma 2 then I want to write the father name let me write as F name and then name is I will keep the data type is varchar2 of size 20. So what I am doing I am adding two columns called marks and F name to the existing table called Parnica underscore 2. Now you can see after pressing enter we got a an output stating the table altered. If you want to verify the description of the table called Pernica underscore 2, now you can see totally we have five attributes called name, is, id, marks and f name. So this is the way you can add one column or multiple columns to the existing table using the alter command. Now we will discuss how can we drop the column or delete the column from the existing table. If you want to drop it then you can use the statement called alter table table name okay table table name then you can write drop column and then you need to specify the column name drop column column name end with semicolon so this statement or command is useful for you to drop a single column if you want to drop multiple columns then you can write alter table table name and then you can write drop within the braces what are the columns you want to delete that you can specify column 1 comma column 2 all these things now what will happen if there is a data inside the table the data also you will lose because once you are deleting the column then whatever the data is there with that column will also be deleted if you want to verify let me execute these statements in the oracle sql plus now if you want to see the data let me write select star from pernica underscore to end with semicolon now you can see totally we have five attributes called name is id marks f name and we have the information called jagadish shiri pernika rajesh ravi age is 30 28 4 35 as we have not inserted any values to this one we have the null values if you want to update we have a statement called update statement that we will discuss in the next video i want to drop this id attribute from this table called pernika underscore 2 so what i will do i have to write in the oracle plus only, sql plus only okay so let me write alter table table name is what pernika underscore 2 then what you need to do drop column because you are dropping a column then you need to specify the column name what is the column name id end with semicolon now you can see table altered now if you want to see the description of the table called pernica underscore 2 now you can see only four attributes are there which is name is marks f name so id attribute has been successfully dropped or deleted if you want to drop multiple columns that also you can do using the alter statement so you will have to write alter table table name is pernica underscore 2 drop and then you need to specify the column names called marks and then f name and end with semicolon now you can see we got the output as table altered now again i want to look at the description of the table called pernica underscore 2 now you can see only two attributes are there one is name and is if you want to hide 
a particular column means you don't want to delete it you want to hide it then we can use the statement called set unused how to do it i will discuss now with the help of alter statement we can do it so alter table table name table table name then you can write set unused column and then you need to write column name end with semicolon so it will be useful for you to hide a particular column if you want to hide multiple columns then also you can use this alter statement okay alter table table name set unused column then you have to specify the column names column 1 comma column 2 end with semicolon or you can write column 3 also why should we always specify column 1 column 2 it will hide the column 1 column 2 column 3 from the table now let me discuss it practically for you i want to hide this is column so what i will do alter okay table Table name is what? Parnika underscore 2. Then what I need to write? Set unused. Then I need to write the column and the name of the column. What is the name of the column? Is. What is happened? Missing unused keyword. Spelling mistake we have done. So what you can do? You can press ed then whatever the last statement you have entered will be opened in the notepad then what are the changes you have to do you can do okay let me save it close this one and then press the slash the last statement after doing the correction it will be executed see what is the statement alter table pernika underscore to set unused now the spelling has been corrected you got an output called table altered now if you look at the description of the table called pernik underscore two then the is attribute is not there if you want to look at the data also then you can see select the star from pernika underscore two then you can see only one attribute is there which is name so the is attribute has been hided okay if you want to remove that one also you can remove it how can you remove the unused columns is using the statement called like alter table table name alter table table name then what i can do here is that i can simply write drop unused columns whatever the columns which are currently unused for this table called table name that all will be dropped okay if you want to verify let me practically do it for you so what i will write alter table table name is what pernika underscore two then i will write drop unused columns what are the unused columns are there for the table called pernika underscore two will be dropped so now table altered okay if you look at the description of the table called pernika underscore two how many attributes will be there only one attribute called name will be there if you look at the data also select a star from pernika underscore two now you can see only the names of the students have been displayed like jagadish siri pernika rajesh ravi has been displayed as an output so this is the way you can use the alter statement to drop or delete the columns or even you can hide the columns also if you want to modify any column means the data type of any column if you want to modify that also you can do it okay so what is the use of the modify is modify is useful for you it is useful to change the to change the data type of a column if already data is there then the type compatibility is very very important suppose let's take that you have the name look if you look at the name all the students names will be there now that column you cannot change it to number 
because it is a string name is nothing but a string how can you change a string to an integer it is not possible so whenever you are changing data type of a particular column and if that table have some data then you need to look at the data type which is compatible okay that is very very important now we will look at practically this one using the alter statement i will add some columns to this pernika underscore two table so i will write alter table pernika underscore two add okay what i will add id which is a number having the size 10 and then i will take some first name which is var car 2 of 20. if you look at the description of the table called pernika underscore 2 now totally three attributes are there one is name id f name name is var car 2 of size 20 id is number of size 10 f name is var car 2 of 20. i want to make this id to a var car 2 already the data type is number now i want to make it to var car 2 so how, how i can do with the help of the alter statement so i will write alter table okay then table name what is the table name pernika underscore 2 then you need to write modify then you need to write the column name what is the column name id what is the existing data type number of size 10 now i want to make it into var car 2 of size 30 now you can see table altered now you can give the description d e s c pernica underscore 2 now look at earlier we have the id attribute having the type as number 10 now it has been changed to var car 2 of size 30 similarly the first name having the var car 2 of 20 now i want to make it to care of size 50 that also we can do with the help of alter table table name is pernica underscore 2 modify the spelling should be correct modify then what is that f name previously it is var car 2 now i am making it as care of size 50 now table has been altered now if i want to look at the description of the table then you can see earlier f name attribute have the data type as var car 2 of size 20 now the attribute f name have the data type as car of size 50 so this is the way you can use the alter statement to add the column to the existing table to drop the column or to modify the data type of the column similarly it is useful for you to add the constraints drop the constraints modify the constraints also however we till now we have not discussed the constraints what is meant by constraint constraint is a rule to which data must conform suppose if i say name every student should have a name am i right so then when the student is entering the name i want to say that not null means he should not make any student name as empty then if i keep such constraint on the attribute called name then student should enter some name he cannot make it empty if you make it empty it is null but we are saying not null so null values are not allowed so once i describe about the or discuss about the constraints then using the alter statement how can we add the constraints to the existing column or to the existing table how can we modify the constraints how can we drop the constraints all these things we will discuss if you still have any doubts related to the concepts which i have discussed in this video feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day